Thousands of hockey fans laced up their skates in Toronto today to bid farewell to the hallowed home of their Maple Leafs. They came for one last ice level look at the gardens, a shrine which is about to close its doors on seven decades of NHL history. John Musselman has the play-by-play. -play. It's every kid's dream, a chance to skate at Maple Leaf Gardens. And today, that dream came true for thousands. I just take pictures up there, up here, everywhere. I just, I was here years ago when I was a kid. Yeah, I used to play hockey on the street when I was a kid, and I always used to do the impersonations of Foster Hewitt. And I said I wanted to be a radio announcer someday, and I never did make that, but I said, well, maybe I can skate on this rink today. One of the big highlights of today's open house was a chance for Leaf fans to get a look inside the dressing room, and thousands lined up all day just to get a peek. This woman traveled all the way from Prince Edward Island. My son lives here, and he told me that uh, he uh, this tour was on, so I thought this is a chance of a lifetime. Thinking about like the history in here and all the awesome players that have been playing here, and my hero, Sandine. It's a place steeped in tradition, built more than 68 years ago by Con Smythe, and the home of the Leaf glory years, dating back to the 30s. Uh, Can I get your autograph in the picture, please? Current team president Ken Dryden says it's a place that will never be forgotten. You come here in all kinds of different circumstances, different stages in your life, and you're, and you're sharing moments that stay with you. But those moments aren't cheap. Check out the lineup for the farewell souvenirs. They're complaining about the lineups. <laughs> Next week, the Leafs will play their final game here. Then it's on to the new and more spacious Air Canada Centre. John Musselman, CTV News, Toronto.